So let's just review what can cause neurotransmitter imbalances. First of all, emotional and physical stress. There can be fatty acid imbalances, and I'm going to talk more about this throughout the program and particularly towards the end of this webinar. So we have many different things that will create um, neurotransmitter imbalances, including nutrition and toxins and stress. We will also find that if uh, there's heavy metal toxicity or lack of sleep or aging. So the list of what causes neurotransmitter imbalances is huge. We can see uh, the interaction of hormonal imbalances with the adrenals, the thyroid, and estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. As I mentioned, the toxins and medications. Inflammation is a very important part of what causes neurotransmitter imbalances, as well as just brain dysfunction. And today there's a lot of research out showing the relationship even between an inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract and the mood disorder. And there was an excellent conference, the IFM Symposium in May, that really highlighted that. Lack of sleep, as I mentioned, the aging process, all of that with poor nutrition, and sometimes it's a genetic predisposition. So often patients will come in as I go through the history, they will have more than one of these. So it's a matter of finding out what really is the underlying cause of this neurotransmitter imbalance. And by starting by testing the neurotransmitters is a very effective way in helping that patient regain some stability and uh, be more balanced in her life and the decisions. And whether that's a man or a woman, it really is very effective. <laughs> 